For at TV, the world is thinking. You were part of an administration that restricted scientists from generating new embryonic uh, stem cells. And I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading the question, sorry. <laughs> As a result, uh, much uh, innovative uh, research actually left the United States. What's your personal opinion, um, mm -hmm. and can we recover? I'll start with the last part. Yes, we can recover, and I think we're starting to, albeit slowly. Um, you have to understand that uh, the rhetoric that you heard, which was largely ideologically and theologically driven, if we use stem cells as an example, which I think is what you're referring yes. to, yes. Uh, if you look at my opinions throughout the time, they were very clear. The use of stem cells holds great potential to do a lot of good things in our, in our health system. Um, and so I would reject the thesis that... Um, uh, that was my opinion. My opinions were always very clear as it related to science because as a Surgeon General of the United States, I only spoke of science. I didn't speak of politics other than the politics that obstructed my ability to speak of science, okay? <laughs> so that there's no question that stem cells, we need to harness that energy for the betterment of society um, because of certain, a Congress, an administration who had a different ideological or theological approach we weren't able to do that for a while. But what's happened is, yes, some of it's gone offshore, but don't forget, many states have just gone ahead and done the research because all it did was restrict federal dollars for those stem cells. So UCSF is a perfect example where we have the stem cell program and the governor, a Republican governor, said, no, we're going to give you money and we want you to do research. So it actually cut across political lines and other states have done the same thing. So I, I was very uh, happy that I was seeing my fellow uh, colleagues and scientists say we're going to move this forward because it does have merit. And, you know, that's the problem. The Surgeon General addresses the science of the nation, the science that the nation needs to improve its health, safety, or security. The people you elect tell you about the politics of that decision. Mm -hmm. But the Surgeon General should always be able to speak to you honestly and clearly and forthrightly on any issue that involves science as it relates to the health, safety, or security of the nation without concerns for political impediments.